All right, Josh. Part two. You fucked it up. Sorry. If I could edit better, I would edit better, but <laughs> such if is life. If I could dunk, I would dunk. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's like, you know, there's like hashtag Asian advice. Yeah. And like my parents would always Asian advise me. Like they'd be like, why didn't you get good grades? And I'd be like, I mean, it's hard. Or I like, you know, why didn't you get a hundred? I'm like, it's fucking hard to get a hundred. They're like, mm -hmm. just study more. And I'm like, Asian if advice. everybody could just study more and get a hundred, I mean, more people would do it, right? Like, like, why aren't you a doctor? Just try harder. Like, my, my dad's advice is always just try, try harder. harder. So, like, if it's like, I can't dunk, he'd be like, try harder. And I'm like, Dad, I'm just not tall, and I'm Asian. I don't right? have like, that fast switch muscle. Yeah, yeah. and he's like, Tr try harder, <laughs> you know? Um, so try harder, Josh. So, what's the next song that you want to talk about? Or did I pick this? No, you did. No, I did. Yeah. The next song I'm going to talk about is Fiesta with Mirror. Introduce songs, or when I feel like it, it's my it's my it's my like announcer voice. Yeah, we all have our fear star uh, with ticks. mirror. Yeah, like you know? so, which is mine. Um, yeah. Why did you uh, pick this song to talk about, Josh? So fear star is back with uh, this song, and they kind of have been doing their own thing for a while. Like Yezzy's been part of Unpretty Rap Star, um, and the other members have been kind of. Yeah, I think Chow, Chow Lu or Kao Lu, I don't know yeah. how to pronounce her name, has been on a lot of variety shows and getting yeah. uh, some attention. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a while since. I mean, the last Fiesta song was on your was on your top ten, I think, yeah, of, of last year. Mm -hmm. You're pitiful. And the year before that, their last song, uh, One was More, more I think, yeah. was on my top ten, if I remember correctly. Yeah, both songs are really good. Um, we really like both yeah. of those songs. Um, yeah. And this song, unfortunately, is not of that caliber, but it's still very, very catchy. Um, I think they kind of go this strange route. Like, they're trying to make them into, like, more mature, kind of, like, darker kind of images. Yeah. And I'm not a really huge fan of that. Steven really likes kind of the bright colors. You like the more classic uh like elegant look yeah. and for me i like a more natural look as well i also am a fan of the kind of more elegant look mm -hmm. and this uh song also and like concept kind of go hand in hand yeah. but i'm not really a huge fan of the concept but the song i'm really down for um mm -hmm. yezzy has kind of a rap section that does stick out but everything that i love about fiesta and their catchiness um, it does come through in this song, but it's a little bit so-so for me. It's not 
at that level of the other songs, but it's still quite good. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't even. I, I guess I can be harsh on you, but like, mm. I, I don't even think the song is that good. Mm. Um, like, uh, comparatively to one more and you're pitiful. Like this song is nothing to me. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't feel anything when I listen to this song. Mm. Uh, other than like I want Fiesta Arts to succeed. I want mm -hmm. them to do better because mm. I I've liked those last two songs. Mm. Um, and I think the um, you can you know people uh, can kind of start hating on Digipenny. We kind of mm. talked about that with Rainbows Ooh last week or last episode. Yeah. But like you can go back and look at. One more's music video, and you can look at this music video, and it is like night and day how generic and boring and mm -hmm. actually kind of awful looking this mirror music video is. It, the, the music video is quite bad. Like um, they're I, they're trying to do again that smoky, that like seductive, that like kind of like dark looking tone, but like yeah. th it just looks like the music video is dark looking and not yeah. great and not yeah. like that's why I like Digipetty videos so much because they're clean and they're crisp and they're mm -hmm. bright mm -hmm. and, and they look good right it's not just random it's not just the same old shots of the same old shots which is what this music video is yeah and so music videos kind of fall under certain genres and you kind of see those uh, kind of themes keep coming out over and over and over, right? Then you have like your QT style, you have your face shot style, right? Mm -hmm. You have the chore choreography, like centric style. And then you have this kind of like edgier style, like why either the, the members are wearing really, really dark eye makeup or grungy clothes, mm -hmm. or they're in a grungy warehouse. Mm -hmm. And they're, they always use that style when they want whatever group that they're promoting to seem more mature. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we were talking about this that like, you know, K-pop has changed so much in the last year, or maybe two years that mm. like, we don't see music videos like this anymore. Mm. Like, we don't see this like seductively sexy like kind, kind of, of thing. Grungy, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you know, even Girls Day when they would do sexy was usually very bright and, and sexy. Uh, you know, the, the closest one would be maybe Stellar Marionette, but... Mm you know, that had other aspects of yeah, like, jumped out. Uh, mm -hmm. of like blatant, uh, um, like sexualism, sexualism, you know, yeah. um, like it, it's been a while, you know, uh, and I realized like, I don't like, that. <laughs> I don't like yeah. this, you know, yeah. I, I don't, I like this era yeah. of, of, uh, more happy and bright yeah. and like, like you can do sexy. Yeah. You know, you can, you like you mentioned can. what, like AOA miniskirt is, uh, bright and sexy and, um, a little bit more classy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I think uh, Fiesta's last two videos um, were quite were, sexy. Were, quite, were really yeah. sexy. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, uh, Your Pitiful is more closely closer to this one music mm -hmm. video style, but like um, the outfits are much better, at least in my opinion. And Your Pitiful. Yeah, and you're pitiful. Yeah. I mean, the song is way, way better. Mm. Um, and, you know, you, you can say what you will about the choreography in your pitiful, where it's like, I'm going to just shove my butt in your face yeah. and kind of wiggle it. But, like, yeah. um, you know. This one also kind of has, like, a split leg choreography also that was kind of like, mm. Yeah, it was kind of like the... I think we've seen that like in like Ring My Bell Girl in Girls Day where mm. they, they just, like, get down and they kind of bounce a little bit. And then, like, the, well, well, my legs. Yeah, yeah. Well. Um... But it's a little sad, like because yeah. I really wanted them to have a, a, a you know a yeah. break a breakout hit because I've always really liked Fiesta and I I always wish the other songs got them more attention. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, like like don't get me wrong, this type of music video it happens for guys as well. Yeah, like I see this happen for guys, like especially with like guys like Vix or like VAP. Like they they always have well, this. I like, think Vixes are unique in their yeah in their. But I'm saying like that kind of feeling that they like mm. Vix kind of is, is known for this more darker grungy style and like people try to do that mm. with like a filter mm. and if you want to like make your members seem more mature um, just make them dress uh, more conservative I think mm. and I think if your members are attractive which they almost always are just make them dress like an act classier. Like I think K-pop well, companies don't know that classy is sexy. Love. Yeah, but I, but I do want to reiterate. Like it kind of sounds like we're saying that their outfits are like slutty. No, 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 no definitely that's not. not what, 
No, no, definitely not like There have definitely been more raunchy yeah. outfits. We're not saying this is raunchy. We're just saying that they're trying to push mature, but they're pushing mature in the wrong way. Mm. I mean, maybe maybe the the dance, uh, the live version is different. I just, for me, I, I have more of an issue with the aesthetics of the music video yeah. um, rather than... I mean, you're talking more about the choices of like outfits and makeup and stuff. I'm yeah. talking specifically about music video, but I'm, I'm talking um, about more of the concept and yeah. kind of focusing on the outfits. But mm -hmm. I think you and I are kind of saying the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fiesta, you know, yeah. we we always still want you to to do well, and yeah. you know, maybe you'll release you know another another song this year, maybe. Yeah. Um, we'll see. So the next song in our uh, duet, you know, in Duet Town is uh, by Yuju from Girlfriend, you know, the number one group in Korea for a very long time, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Um, and uh, Sun, Sun Yul? Sun Yul? Sun Yul. Sun Yul. Sun Yul. Mm. We had a big, like, Piece I had an obtention. anger fit. I had an anger fit about the way that they uh, romanized, they romanized their thing. Oh, the song that they're singing together is called Cherish. So Yuju and uh, Bright Lip Sexy Man, um, yeah. Sonyol. Very gender ambiguous. I don't want to say gender ambiguous. I just want to say he's got the shiniest, pinkest lips he's definitely I've wearing ever tint. seen in my life. Like, so all music videos, the doesn't matter if you're male or female, you're wearing makeup. But this dude, his lipstick is too bright. It, they pretty much put the same shade of lipstick on her as him, which is crazy to me. They're like, all right, you come here. Yeah. All right, now you two. Now you do me. <laughs> uh, maybe that's his natural lip color, and if, if that's the maybe case. Maybe he needs to drink more water. You yeah, know? he needs to stop sucking on Speaking suckers. Speaking of water. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's besides the point, because I want to talk about the song. Yeah. And, like, I was actually really surprised by the song. Like, I, uh, it's, you know, while the Wendy and Eric Nam song is more... Yeah, surprising in a way. Like Wendy and Eric Nam's song is more uh, guitar-y based, acoustic guitar-y based, yeah. and um, uh, G-Min and Shumin's is more like hip hop, right? Like more, yeah. more, more, uh, uh, more kind of up tempo, like playful. playful, back yeah, and yeah. forth. This one is more kind of like generic-y kind of pop ballad, mm -hmm. but like um, I it's think pretty good. Yeah, I think both their voices are really good. I think the song is not bad, and uh, you know they do play. You know, off and off, uh, off of each other quite yeah. a bit, um, but but the main th takeaway from this music video is definitely his lips, yeah. because um, you gotta watch this mu music video just yeah. for them lips. Like, like it's it's a very very boring music video. It's just them in a studio. Like you've seen it's like a, a half times. of it's like a photo shoot. You know, you've it's not even it like a, a music times, video, right? Like it's it's them like filming quote unquote in a music video yeah. or a, in a studio. But it's really just, we're filming a music video, just act like you're recording the song. Yeah. But, 
Best Lips 2016. Shout outs to the Uptension. That's on you. That is the only is. thing that I kind of know. Like we've listened to all the Uptension songs and like, you know, we've they tried. were okay. We've tried, yeah. Um, but um, I, I think his part is actually pretty good. Like yeah. I, I, I like personally, I like this song more than the Wendy and Eric yeah. song. Uh, but that could, that's probably just like what we like, you know, yeah. in uh, yeah. in ballads more. I mean, and that, and that goes to show you it. It's more, I think, about the producers and like the type of song they're given rather than the idols kind of singing or dancing talent. Because I feel like most idols they can hold a tune, they do sing pretty well. But especially nowadays, yeah, it's just I mean, definitely year by year, like the quality is is going up dancing and singing wise yeah. but it's just it's always been an issue of what concept are they put what, what concept are they pushing what kind of uh producer are they using is the song catchy enough right yeah i really want to know how much money the producer makes mm. right like how much money like, like you know when AOA, the... yeah like when because the you know as we've talked about many times this year is like the producer is the key to what makes a song popular? I, I really think so. I really right? think so. Uh, sorry, if it's a new group, if mm -hmm. it's an old group, you know they have they have like what they I call have, brand yeah. brand loyalty. And so like songs that would never get any attention if it was sung by a rando is number one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about like what makes new groups, you know, like the like that Uwa, hit song, like that yeah, hit song. that hit song. Like I really wonder how much money those producers make because they literally they make groups, right? Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, Brave Sound, a Double Sidekick, like they make, yeah. like they have made hits for groups that have shot them to, yeah. to superstardom, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so now is the time where we take a break. You know, we don't have to do a really super awkward ad read. Um, this is when we thank all of you for yeah. continuing to stick with us despite us missing deadlines and missing uh, after shows. Yeah. And, Being very consistent in, in general, but. Yeah, and having an overall kind of you know, weird. <laughs> we were looking at uh, all the stats for our old, for the podcast mm -hmm. and like the, the days that the podcast are released is two so weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks. Sometimes we don't do one for a month, then like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, and part of the after show that I do want to talk about is kind of some behind the scenes stuff of like what we, what has been happening in the past and what mm. we we want to do in the future yeah um but uh, we do want to thank all the people that leave us itunes reviews it lets us know you're not a robot yes 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 and i don't know like i think i was looking for another itunes review and i i was switching stores yeah. and i ended up on the uk this one's a little bit old but it's one that i don't think we've read yet so i want to thank flobber bogtrot from the UK. It's a pretty awesome name, Flubber Bogtrot. Flubber Bog, Flubber Bogtrot. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Um, and he or she says, for Americans, they're really not too annoying. Good stuff. That is a huge compliment. Thank you. Because Thank you. even other Americans consider us annoying. I mean, I think you're annoying. I, I fucking hate his guts. I fucking hate your mom's guts. Wow, my mom cares about you a great deal. I know, that's what you always you know say that. whenever I make yeah, last, my mom. last time I was home, she asked about you directly. She said, how is Steven? Is he going to stay in Korea? Yeah. Tell him I said hi. And that makes it even more insulting that I hate her, doesn't it, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him. I'm tell him next time. Please don't I'm gonna, tell him. I'm going I'm to I'm message her tomorrow. I message my mom at least once a week. And I'm going to tell her, like, hey, mom, uh, I love you. I told Steven that you uh, mentioned him. He says he hates you. Yeah, he said, fuck off. He said he hates you. And she'll say, never invite that guy Just ever kidding, Mama ask. Josh. I'm, I know I kid you with, with love. Um, but yeah, we want to, of course, thank Flobber Bogtry and all, you know, the hundreds of other people that have left yeah. us reviews over the, over the years. Um, it still, still really helps us out when you leave us a review. It helps yeah. us with the rankings. It helps us, you know, as validation that we're, you know, again, yeah. doing things okay. Um, yeah. And if you leave a, a review in any other store that's not the American store, um, uh, because we're dirty Americans and we only care about America. We do only yeah. care about America. Uh, and or iTunes is really stupid and they separate them all in between countries. Um, give us a shout out. Tell us yeah. on Twitter, you know, at This Week in K-Pop, at Twig Steven, at Twig Josh. Yeah. Um, you can find all that link and junk in the descriptions. Yeah. Um, and of course, thanks for, you know, 
Sticking with us. Sticking with us. 2016. I can't believe, you know, just like Miss Miss S. I can't believe their last thing was two two and a half years ago. Yeah. I, I can't believe this is like I don't even know, like the third year I've been doing this stupid, stupid thing. And people, so we want to thank you. And people listen. People listen. Not not many, but you but those do. but those people that do, we really appreciate you. Yeah. And we really appreciate your reviews and your comments uh, because they give us a lot of encouragement. Yes, yes, yes. So let's move on to the last two songs. This podcast is short but yeah. sweet podcast. Yeah. Now these two songs that Steven and I are going to talk about, I should give a disclaimer. Uh, these two songs are kind of like a little bit embarrassing that we like them. But no, 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 we no. kind of do this like This is them. just you. I told no, no, you no, no, I'm no, no, not no, embarrassed no. by my pick at all. This is only blatant. you. And you're very blatant. Um, do you even like the one that looks like a fish? What? You like do you like the, the member that looks like a fish? You don't have to like every <laughs> you don't have to like every member to not be embarrassed of liking the song. It's just a question. It's just a question. I mean, I I know. I don't hate her. I don't even know what you're talking. I don't think anybody listening right now has any idea what you're no, talking about. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. Um, but so thanks for bringing that up. Josh. I'll premise that. At That's least. some podcasting proness right there. I'm a professional. Yeah, we pros. <laughs> um, but the song I want to talk about is that transition. <laughs> we rusty guys. We're so we're, bad. We're rusty. We're so bad. Like, I really don't know why this podcast is 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 much more awkward than normal. I, I think it's just because we we had a huge talk yesterday and yeah. like now we're we're kind of like shaking off the jitters. Yeah, think. that's true. Yeah. So oh. Josh, which song are you completely embarrassed about loving? The song is by Cosmic Girls. Uh, it's called Catch Me. Going down. Going down. 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 Going down. Now, we talked about Cosmic Girls last yes, episode with their uh, debut song, Momo Momo, which I enjoy. I do really like that. I, 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 I decently yeah. like that song I like as that well. Song. Yeah. Um, I, I think I liked it more than you at the time, too. Mm -hmm. And I remember mentioning to you that um, some of the people in the comments were saying, oh, but Catch Me is a better song. Catch Me is a better song. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I listened to it, and I was like, hey, Josh, the next song is kind of this weird, like, hip hop -y like song. And I'm like, you're going to fucking hate it. Right? I listened to it, and I was like... Eh, I mean, it's whatever. And then I listened to it again. I was like, eh. Then I listened to it again. Then I listened to it again. Then I listened to it again. And then I just couldn't forget it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the one, so one huge thing that I do, like, don't like about the song is that it doesn't have a, a bass in it. Yeah. After the first few seconds, it kind of goes away. And I really think the song would be very good if it had a, a deep bass. Um, now the voices, I really don't know why I like this song so much, um, because the voices, the tones of their voices don't match the song. They're like really, At all. they're really like kind of girly. They're really airy. Except for the there, rapper's there's one, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one person. Part, yeah. And it's just so, f it's just so fucking mushroomy. I can't, it's, it's like mold. It's like fucking mold. I can't get rid of it. Like, I don't even know what's so catchy about this song. Like, like I I, everything you're saying 
for me, that is pick. That is the song "Pick Me." Yeah. Uh, one oh, produce one oh one song because like we sing that song randomly all the time. Where it's like "Pick Me, Pick Me, Pick Me, Yeah, Pick Me." Like that song is an awful song, but everything you're talking about describes that. But like, what's catchy about the song? I don't even. I don't even know what's so catchy. I like the the kind of like pew 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 sounds in it. I don't know why. Pew, normally pew, pew, I pew hate sounds. normally I hate those sounds, yeah. but I like it. And I like that it's just so bad. Like the way I like <laughs> this song is kind of like the way people like snakes on a plane or like those things. That you're, you're, you're not to taking it seriously. I'm not taking it seriously. I, so Steven made a really, really good point. Mm -hmm. um, As I do yeah. often. In when, we, when, we, when he first showed me this song, we were talking about Momomo Mo Mo as well. And he said, the reason why I think you like this song was... What did you say, Steven, exactly? I actually have no idea. Uh, I, th I think you said something along the lines of, you know it's kind of like oh, an alternate right. song. Like, if this was the first song, mm. I think you would have hated it. Mm. But because you heard Momo Mo first, and that is the... That's your set, like, impression of them. expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. To you, this is like that B-side throwaway song, so you yeah. don't take it seriously. Yeah. Right? I think it's... It ex exceeds my expectations because Momo Mo didn't really set it very high. They were mm. kind of like medium to low. I was like, oh, well, I mean, there's nothing really to hate about this group, but nothing really to like. So if they're going to put out this like B-side song, I'm just like, I ex kind of expected to hate it. Yeah. And it was like, oh, I don't hate it. So it's not bad. And unfortunately, not bad turned into pick me, pick me, <laughs> like... I think it's okay. It's, I don't think it's anywhere near as catchy. Oh, as, pick me, as pick, pick me, me is annoyingly catchy. Yeah, which I'm I'm a little sad we didn't talk about it on mm -hmm. our podcast because when that song came out, like nobody liked that song because they released that song before the TV show even started, mm -hmm. right? But then as the TV show, uh, which by the way, if you don't know, Produce One Hundred One is a variety like show about a competition a girl show about mm -hmm. making a girl group where there's a hundred and one trainees vying for some number of slots, right? I, I yeah. haven't watched it because I'm pretty rap star killed that entire genre for me. Uh, but like that show is becoming so popular now that like girls in our school will just run around the fucking school singing, pick me, pick me, pick me up. And like anytime in class I mention the word pick, they'll say, pick me, pick me, pick me up. It's uh -huh. like when, when Sistar's yeah. Give It To Me was really huge. Anytime I told the kid to be like, hey, give it to me, the entire song just, or that entire class just bursts out in song. Right. I'm just, you just give it to me, uh, baby, give it to me. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. no, seriously, give it to me. Like, yeah. stop playing with that. Like, yeah. you damn kid. Um, yeah, it, it's so funny how that, like, triggers things because I'll say things like, oh, remember this, and some girl will say, do you remember? And I'll be like, okay, is, if that makes you remember it, then yeah, yeah. do that. And, and for me, like, th this Cosmic Girl song is none of that. But for some reason, you liked it. And so we are talking about it right now. It, it wasn't um, my first choice of song to talk about. But but I do like, I did want to talk about Cosmic Girls because, um, you know, the other point that I kind of talked about was when we were talking earlier was that, like, um, I think there's a really good reason. I'm, this might sound very Twice fanboy -y, right? Mm. But, like, Twice's music video was so good, and we said it was so good. It was yeah. because... They made the good choice of giving every girl a different outfit. And screen time. And different screen time. Yeah. And like, so you really kind of can pick a girl, right? Um, you can differentiate between them. Yeah. Which is huge. Which, which Yeah, very, very important. Yeah. Uh, you know. I mean, Steven and I make those remarks all the time. Yeah. And, and Cosmic Girls, like, in the last music video, and in this one especially, this one especially, they're all wearing the same black, mm -hmm. like outfit and they all look the same there's 12 girls that mm -hmm. like you know this is one of those perfect things to show someone who's not really into k-pop and be like go how many girls in this group and they'll just have no no idea you yeah. know because they look all so samey yeah and and that was like i think that's bad like, yeah you, you, like like that used to work like long time ago in like the older generation of like girls generation like wonder girls mm -hmm. Like Kara, Tiara, like all of them would kind of wear the same. But those thing. are not twelve girls. Yeah, and like you would look at them and you'd be okay. like, "Oh, I don't know who's who," right? When you're first watching, and like the the goal was to be like, "Oh, I want to 
figure out what the difference is yeah. and then f by researching more like it that draws you in everyone looks so the same so you're trying to figure out who is who right but nowadays it's kind of like i mean there's so many more groups yeah there's, there's so, so many, many more, more groups like your attention can't be separated so easily yeah. so i feel like groups that make an effort to introduce their members more individually mm -hmm. like i think they will profit about, more yeah. Yeah. yeah because rather than having to invest attention and time into a group mm -hmm. if you have a member that automatically sticks out then you know that's essentially yeah. mission accomplished but i mean i'm not even talking about like for every single person there's probably a girl that sticks out to them right yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what i'm saying is like as a group and as a whole if you're going to debut with 12 girls or 10 girls i can't remember the exact mm -hmm. number of girls like if you don't even try to like at least you know people try to differ differentiate them with mm -hmm. different hair and different hair colors and different something but like especially watching this catch me music video is how samey they all look mm. um but like you Almost know a good counter like a, a good thing. counter argument to me would maybe be like g friend mm -hmm. like g friend uh they all especially in the first music video they all the same hairstyle they mm -hmm. all had black hair so they all wear the same outfits but but i also had no idea like who the heck any of those girls were, I, right? I still don't know the difference between g friend members the only mm. reason why i like g friend so much is because of choreography mm, yeah like, but like their, their catch point for them is was totally different right than like for twice like right. twice i'm like oh that's that one girl that's that one girl like i can point them point out girls. even though i don't know their names yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. and like i think that's a different kind of appeal mm. right like if you're going to go like a g friend kind of route like you but have again, to have something else besides like their, their concept or the way they look right to draw me in but uh, you know again g friend is not a 10 plus member group right yeah, like yeah, i think it's very important yeah, um, yeah like so Cosmic Girls is a large group, right? And the point, I think, of large group is to have a different flavor for every different person or different right. taste right. areas. And if that's the case, big groups really need to differentiate their members. Yeah, I think that's a good summary. Yeah. You did a good job. Thanks. You did a good job, Joshua. Thank you. Um, but, you know, Cosmic Girls, uh, please never make a song like this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, very Sonamu-like. Yeah, and you know what Sonamu did? They never made a song like that ever again. Um, That's true. So, good job. Uh, so, uh, the uh, next song, the last song we're going to talk about in our yeah. podcast um, is also, okay, it's not a great song. I'm just not no, embarrassed no. to like it. Okay, fair um, enough. And uh, maybe Josh is embarrassed to like it. Um, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm less embarrassed to like this one than that one. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Uh, which song do you like more, though? Probably the last one, right? Uh, they're both kind of the same for me. Oh, yeah. alright, that's a win for me. Uh, this song is by CLC with their song, High Heels. their their two songs um but the you know the korea as a whole was kind of like eh. lukewarm yeah Very lukewarm um 
And so they, I guess, you know, they they wanted to introduce two two new members to the group, mm -hmm. um, but of course, one of them is in that Produce One Hundred One show that's still yeah. currently aired right now. So technically, if she wants to be in that, she cannot produce or she cannot promote with CLC. Yeah, it, she is contractually bound mm -hmm. to not be able. So uh, the music video for this is actually called the short version, uh, primarily because they had to cut out every uh, everything involved with this 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 girl. Um, now out. I'm not watching Produce One Hundred One, so I don't actually know how good she is or if she has a chance of winning. Because, yeah. uh, but then that's weird because if she wins, she's gonna go into this other girl group. So what was the point of adding her in CLC in the first place? Yeah. I don't understand yeah. Cube Entertainment. Yeah. Like in essentially, the, the premise of Produce One Hundred and One is that they have to be trainees, right? And if she's a part of CLC, she's not a trainee anymore. Yeah. But uh, the the winner of Produce One Hundred and One, they don't form a permanent girl group. Yeah. yeah. They only, if I remember correctly, because it's trainees from a like bunch of different groups. Yeah. Things they 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 form a like temporary one year girl group. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, they they are supposed to split back up. Yeah. yeah. Um. But it just seems. I mean, it makes sense to be like, okay, like, uh, because if if this, I think her name is Unbin, if she was eliminated early, she sh she would have been able to mm -hmm. uh, be with CLC. Yeah, well, she's probably doing pretty well. I mean, if she can't produce, yeah, she, she's obviously or can't still promote. in the in yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah. so she can't promote with them. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I, I think that's really sad. I think it's really mm -hmm. sad because I think this song is actually not too bad. Like, I think yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's this. It's the same level is good as as Pepe and there was one after that I, I can't remember the name um but like you know not the most amazing songs in the world for me mm -hmm. but if, if they're happy fun good times I think the music video is a trash of travesty of trash and not it's because <laughs> not because of the short version reasons it's just it's just shots of their faces there, there's they it, it's they literally don't generic. even dance yeah um so and I mentioned earlier that you know, certain music videos kind of fall into certain genres. And this genre is like just shots of their faces. Okay, girl, do some pose. Yeah. And all the poses are very, very generic. I've seen them, I want to say, two billion times. Yeah. Um, of course, that's, a, a, you know, a rough estimate. But yeah, probably they are very, 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 very generic. Yeah. And usually those faces are intermixed with dancing, right? That. Yeah. That is the quintessential generic Korean yeah, music so video. It doesn't make it seem like they're posing and yeah. whatever, whatever. Right? Well, this one doesn't even have dancing. Probably because when they were dancing, it was all seven of them, and they couldn't show any of that dancing part. That's true. Which is why they had it. Because you can't just, you know, green screen out one girl, right? Yeah, that doesn't... it's very obvious that this music video has been edited. Yeah. Which, yeah. which is really sad. I mean, because I think the song deserves better than, A, this controversy... Um, and be, you know, uh, a, such a boring, stupid music video. Um, because their last ones were so, again, bright and colorful yeah. and fun and... Pepe and um, that one where they're trying to chase that guy, right? Like Yeah, like Pepe. there's like a room and yeah. uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called. Maybe like something? Um, but, oh, excuse me. But uh, CLC, uh, I think... Everybody in the YouTube comments are all just like, Cube Entertainment, what are you fucking doing? Yeah. And that's kind of true, because yeah. like, Cube Entertainment has four what minutes, you been doing? and they've been trying to dubstep it up for the past two years. It's not really working. They have Beast, who like, I, I can't even remember the last time Beast did anything. <laughs> like, I, mean, I know they've been releasing like, a song been here and there. they songs, but it's just like... But not mainstream big songs. Yeah, they haven't but, really been like, promoting actively. Yeah, like there was like a distinct era of Beast where like they were like just putting out bangers. top three boy groups, yeah, putting out bangers, and like they just disappeared. I don't know where they've been at. Like they, like I think the last song we liked was that weird like B side I song. I have to go home or something. Yeah, or I have to yeah. go to work or something like that. Gotta go to work. Gotta, go, Gotta to work. go to work. And that was a great song, but like that wasn't the the Beast that you know yeah. was Beasting. So like I don't even know what else Cube has other than Four Minute Beast and. Is Beast even Cube? Am I totally fucking that up? Should we look it up? I'm gonna look it up. Um, Sorry for because we're professional. professionals. We're professional. I don't even remember how to use. Uh, no, just just mind. type just type in Cube. Nope, it's too late. I already yeah, typed it in, dude. Beast is part of Cube. Okay. Okay. Well, let's click what else groups groups Cube so has because I don't remember. So they have oh B to B. 
Do you have B2B? I mean, yeah. B2B has been doing their thing. Yeah. All right, well, Cube, anyways, I don't know what you're really doing because your whole game plan with this Produce 101, like, CLC thing is crazy to me. Um, also adding, you know, they added two new members, and um, I think a lot of people were like, there was no reason to. Yeah. But, you know, people <laughs> said that about Red Velvet, right? People said that about any time you want to add a new... But now people know. love... Yeah. <laughs> Yeri. What's her name? Yeri? 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 Yeti. I think I it's Yeti. I don't actually know. But, I mean, people love her, so that's that. That's true. There's always... Change is hard. Um, but you know what else is hard? Were you going to say my <laughs> Uh No, that's not where I was going. No, you're transitioning. Man, my art transitions are on point today. They're on fucking point. On oh, fucking point. Um, you know what else is hard? Um, this table. And this table currently is feeling good. Because this is a short podcast and we hope you guys stay tuned for the after show because we are going to talk about A, the three banging ass hip hop kind of R&B songs that mm -hmm. we normally really, really yeah. uh, like. We're also going to talk about Lehigh. Of yeah. course, Lehigh was the biggest release in the last two weeks, but um, we have a lot of things to, to discuss about it. Not mm -hmm. necessarily great things. Um, and I think we're going to talk a little bit more about just, uh, rando kind of behind the scenes stuff about the yeah. podcast and, and the future of the podcast. So I yeah. uh, hope you guys, uh, l tell us if you like this more shortened version. Mm -hmm. I, I actually don't know how short it's, it, it's totally going to be at the end. Um, we fully understand that we were not on our A game today. Um, whether but... that, whether that <laughs> makes it better or worse, I'm not entirely sure yeah. for you. Sorry. And we were super unprofessional today, but thanks for sticking with us as always. Yes, thanks for remaining hard. Um, hope you guys check out some of these songs. Tell us what you think about Cosmic Girls. You know, I think yeah. that was the most contentious of, of our thing. Maybe Fiesta, maybe got some thoughts on that. Yeah. But please do check out, you know, Raw D or Miss Money. Those are songs that probably... A little bit uh, less... Less yeah, than. less likely to come your way unless you go to essentialkpop.com, the easiest way to get all the essentials for all your K-pop needs. Bye. <laughs>